Welcome everyone to the Stanford Lee Show, the place for songs, stories, musicology, and more. We're going to have an interview with Rebecca Firth and uh, talk about music in the studio. So let's get started. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a song that I pulled out of the archives. Uh, um, I got started on it. I was working with some imagery that was very atmospheric and dark and romantic. And um, I, I just wanted to revisit it. Um, it was um, one of those songs that had a lot of uh, guitars in it. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking now with saxophone and some arrangements, just kind of working through it on my uh, Ableton push, playing with some loops and samples and uh, kind of getting a feel of it. So what I want to do is take some of these pieces and then uh, uh, build up an arrangement. This uh, gives me a chance to uh, play around and test things out a little bit. So let's see what we got here. Guitar is cool. Yeah, it gives me some space. Something that rocks a little more. Let's see, it's getting into the song now. Let me turn that up. God, you hear that? No, I don't like that at all. This is better. Yeah, to be honest, I'm probably not going to like any of it by the time I'm done, but that's the cool thing about it, it's the process. You can just uh, cheat and kind of play around with different things and figure out what you want to do before you go into the real studio and start recording. So, there you go. Okay. I guess we'll just go right into it then. Um, who are you as an artist? What makes you and what separates you from other musicians out there? Oh, well, I think I kind of uh, 
cross paths with a lot of interests. So um, I think what uh, distinguishes me from other artists is uh, I'm always discovering, I'm always exploring. And um, I actually work with people that uh, can deliver. So I, th I think I've just been fortunate in that respect that uh, I can just get something out there, you know, get people to see it and get interested in it. My big uh, thing is uh, actually uh, art. So I have a background in uh, painting and design and um, maybe philosophy. But, uh, you know, I take those interests and in, uh, the storytelling into my music. So that's really special to me. Okay, well, you mentioned that you have other interests like your design and your painting and your art, stuff like that. Um, obviously, you're a creative person, but you have um, your interests in different aspects of creativity. Do you think that there's a crossover between um, those different aspects of your, your life or is there like, how do you think that they affect each other when it comes to your music? Well, I think I can pull so much in from um, uh, being in different areas and um, it takes a while to see how the points all connect, you know, trying to put those dots together. But after a while, I find that uh, there's a point where they do connect and I guess that's a point at which I would uh, continue on my journey or, uh, you know, maybe go and try to discover more. Right now, I, I'm feeling a lot of connection with, uh, uh, with the music because I went, uh, I started in um, more or less where everybody, you know, starts, uh, you know, like playing guitars and rock music, you know, pretty common and uh, my interests grew into exploring uh, jazz and then exploring country western and uh, they're not that different when you think about it. Uh, I guess what keeps me grounded is uh, the story, trying to uh, tell these, uh, you know, these ideas and themes to uh, understand life better and where the connections lie. So would you say that that's what, what drives you to write your music, is this, this storytelling or this need to explore different things in your life? Yeah, that's that's a part of it. I mean, it uh, it began with uh, notebooks and uh, just trying to organize my thoughts better. You know, artists really, uh, they say that uh, everybody should keep journals, you know, so that you have ideas to go back to. So that's kind of uh, what it's been for me. And uh, I think in the higher aspirations of that, that's uh, where human connection is and uh, where freedom is. So I still think it's relevant and important to me. What are some of the struggles that you face as a musician and a songwriter? And um, what's one of the biggest hurdles that you've uh, recently had to go through with your music? I think there's uh, uh, an easy path, maybe even for me, but uh, I haven't taken that easy path. <laughs> you never do. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> uh, it's not that I had, uh, you know, the crown laid out there right in front of me, but uh, there would have been an easier way to do what I was doing, you know, to just, uh, because I, I crossed over into some different areas, like uh, I had the time to uh, regain my interest in composing music and playing band instruments like flute and saxophone, but uh, um, at some point I did uh, find it to be a challenge, almost like maybe I'm just fighting myself trying to delve into too much but um, I, I really uh, feel like now it's uh, paying off in how I compose songs and uh, put things together. Uh, the other struggle is uh, beyond my own uh, internal ambitions is uh, uh, the way uh, artists are perceived. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to be, uh, you know, going from being a guitarist to uh, the way people think of you as a songwriter or the way they think of you as a singer. Sometimes it's too much of a box for me. And uh, the last question, um, you know, there's the phrase in the zone. It's usually used by people who are really good at something, you know, when they're super focused and honed in, you know, they say they're in the zone. But what does the zone look like for you as a musician? Oh, where, uh, where it's just effortless. I mean, um, where, um, you know, it's just like the song is in my head and I'm not reading off of anything. I'm not remembering my cues. It just comes out of me. I think that's the zone. 
uh, when the ideas are crisp and uh, you know just come from someplace. Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely felt more of that. I mean, uh, I guess we all you know find our zone, and uh, yeah, that's my my special place. I hope the audience out there uh, you know you know enjoys uh, you know meeting uh, artists. I think we all need to have a voice and especially uh, you know with the challenges now just to be able to well have somebody like you to talk to I mean journalism is kind of that mirror you know for us to kind of uh, reflect upon it gives us context and um, some purpose to go out there it kind of uh, gives a focus to things and I really appreciate it absolutely I think that you're doing awesome, amazing things, um, despite all the setbacks that everyone's experienced throughout the year. Um, you know, as if it wasn't hard enough being a, an artist starting out and trying to build his following and gain recognition, but then on top of that surprise, you're stuck at home at quarantine, and then surprise, you break your leg and you're homebound. Um, I, I think that <laughs> I uh. think that you're just doing amazing things with, with your stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the broken leg thing, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, just don't go crazy if you're cooped up, and uh, you know, please, uh, you know, the people that aren't in the music industry, realize, uh, you know, if you have any, you know, influence on things, uh, you know, life has to keep going, you know, we got to get out of this stage we're in now and get on with our lives, you know, it's, uh, it's very important, and uh you know, I hope that everybody stays true to the path and, you know, what they want to do during this time. Thank you for joining us. On the Stanford Lee Show. <laughs> See you next time. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>